Hello YouTube, today I'll be talking about how I usually plan when dealing with drawdowns from trading. The reason I touch on this topic today is because I experienced a sizable loss out of expectation and it isn't part of my plan to have such a large loss. So what happened was I broke one of my cardinal rules which was not to place an order right before a red folder event. In this case, it was retail sales. So I placed my buy limit order um, before the news came out, which when triggered, canceled my stop loss uh, because the news spiked through the stop loss price before the indicator even set the stop loss for the order. Basically, I was in the position without a stop loss attached and immediately looking at a large loss. The next mistake I did was um, to attempt to double down. Instead of getting out of the position directly, I decided to double down so I could get out at break even. This was mistake number two. Historically, doubling down works some of the time, but in cases like this, I find it better to take the loss straight away. The first time I lost my personal trading account was because I kept doubling down, maybe four or five times, and each time the risk grew larger and larger until I couldn't accept it psychologically. And that's how I lost a large portion of my trading net worth in just a few hours. That particular trading loss left me feeling overwhelmed and questioning my abilities as a trader. But here I'm telling you it's possible to overcome this challenge and to come back stronger than ever. With the loss of today's trend, I felt a mix of emotion, shock, disbelief, fear, and frustration. It was the same condition that cost me my almost cost me my personal trading account in the first place and made me reconsider giving up on trading. But luckily I'm still trading on a funded account um, this time around and it's still within my risk parameters. The first thing I did was to step back and analyze the situation. I stopped trading altogether, real realizing that the stop loss has put me in an incorrect mindset and that I am likely to go on a tilt if I continue on trading. And that's exactly what I did. I stopped everything, I left the room, and began rethinking and analyzing the situation. I asked myself, do I need to make any changes to my trading plan and risk management? In this case, it's because my stop loss did not get set up and I get back to my old bad habits of trying to get out and break even. So no, I realized that today I do not need to make any adjustments for this time around. But I still make a note that I, that I will stop placing my orders before any red news event. The next step is to decide whether I need to readjust my risk management by reducing my position size for the next trade. Luckily, this is not a catastrophic loss yet to my account. And actually, contrary to what many may say, I do not reduce the size of my position. Instead of reducing risk to 0.5R, what I would suggest to do next if the account balance is enough is to stick to 1R, but to wait until the very best A plus setup. So it doesn't matter whether I have to wait for the next two, three days, I would rather wait for an A plus setup that is very highly likely to win. When I suffered a significant setback in the past, I have to stick to my revised trading plan and resist the urge to make emotional decisions based on fear or greed. And how I did this was when in the past, when I lost, almost lost my personal trading account, I talked with fellow traders on Discord. I'm actually not in any Discord chat room anymore right now, but in the past when I was in the chat room, it was very helpful to have someone to talk to, mainly because there's no one near me that actually trades and is understanding of what I'm going through. So it is actually helpful just to be able to talk with someone else in the community and just get the bad feeling out of your chest because frankly almost every trader will suffer some sort of loss in their trading life. Here I'll give the shout out to the trader that I talked to in the description. 
things right. Besides that, I also focused on my own well-being by getting enough sleep, eating well, and exercising regularly. Basically, it's just to get a dopamine shot to overcome the terrible feeling that comes after a loss. The next part is also to journal down this trait and to write down my feelings. Like what I can do better next time and just stay calm and be composed about it. Remember, the trading drawdown is a normal part of a trading process. You have to maintain a long-term perspective and use this experience as an opportunity to grow and improve as a trader. And that's all I have for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you next time when I actually have time to think of what video to make. So, thank you and if you like this video, do subscribe to the channel. Right? Goodbye and see you next time.